Well, it's been an exciting weekend in sports, and for all the highlights, we of course turn to Sunny Young with the sunny side of sports. Hi, Sunny. So, some news about an athlete from Zimbabwe for a change. Hi, Ndimiyaki. Yes, we begin with African athletics, and here's a sunny side of sports salute for Zimbabwean athlete Stephen Muzingi, who successfully defended his title Sunday in the 85th running of the Comrades Marathon. Now, this is an ultra marathon. It covers about 90 kilometers from Peter Maritzburg to Durban. Stevens winning time, five hours and 29 minutes. He received a first place prize of about 33,000 US dollars. On the women's side, a Russian runner, Elena Nergalieva, won the title. Her winning time just over six hours, 13 minutes. And her twin sister, Olesia, came in right behind her, finished second. And they have dominated the race. Uh, Olesia, who finished second, was the defending champion. And this was the fifth time that Elena has captured the title. A World Cup-style atmosphere greeted the runners in Durban, which will be one of the venues for the upcoming World Cup football finals. And speaking of the World Cup, we're now only 11 days away from the opening match. And the teams continue to arrive in Johannesburg. The United States will be arriving on Monday. Among the teams that arrived over the weekend, two-time World Cup champion Argentina, led by the great Diego Maradona. Maradona has his share of World Cup heroics on his resume. Argentina will play Nigeria on June 12th in the opening match for both teams at Ellis Park in Johannesburg should be a great match and remember the opening match at the World Cup will be June 11th between host South Africa and Mexico and that game will be played at Soccer City Stadium in Johannesburg. In pro basketball the NBA Finals officially tip off on Thursday night in Los Angeles. Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers will host the Boston Celtics in the latest renewal of the rivalry between the two most successful clubs in NBA history. The Celtics beat the Lakers a couple of years ago in the finals. Last year, the Lakers got the title back by beating the Orlando Magic. I mentioned the Magic. The Celtics beat the Magic to advance to the finals. They beat the Magic four games to two, and the Lakers defeated the Phoenix Suns four games to two to advance once again to the NBA Finals. And should the Lakers win, this will be Kobe Bryant's fifth NBA title, putting him one behind the great Michael Jordan, who won six NBA titles with the Chicago Bulls. A lot of people now are comparing who's the greatest player, Kobe or Michael. Well, I think Kobe might have to win a few more NBA titles. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Back to you, and Miyaki. Thank you so much, Sonny. And of course, you'll be going to the World Cup. I'm sure you're counting down. Well, and of course, for our viewers, please watch for Sunny Side of Sports every Monday and Friday right here on In Focus.